Have you heard about the Kalama? Kalama, what? Is that a new restaurant? Hmm, ha, uh, not quite. It's actually a teaching from Buddha's time about how to avoid getting sucked into every influencer's opinions. I didn't know there were influencer two thousand six hundred years ago. You bet there were. Various philosophers, spiritualists, and religious men would travel around India, sharing their views, ideas, thoughts, beliefs, visions, scriptures, and so on with people. Most of them were trying to gain followers. Ah, got it. I can imagine all these ancient influencers trying to outsmart one another to gain more followers. So Buddha was like the OG influencer who taught people to think for themselves. You got it. Nowadays, anyone can be an influencer, whether they are dressed in religious robes or rocking a Gucci tracksuit. Like the Kalamas, we are overwhelmed by messages, and it is really confusing. Yeah, some folks might even try to persuade you that the Earth is flat. Uh, as a pancake, or that investing in plastic trees is a brilliant idea. Exactly. So the Kalama Sutta is all about using our brain instead of blindly following someone else's ideas and beliefs. Like, sure, jumping off a building to become a spirit warrior might sound cool in a manga, but in real life, it's not the brightest idea. Therefore, the Kalama Sutta is super relevant today when we are bombarded with so many opinions and viewpoints. Yep. So whether it's about religion, politics, or which Kardashians is the most fashionable, it's important to take a step back and evaluate things for ourselves. For sure. So who's ready to visit the Kalama Sutta and start influencing themselves? 